Hey guys, taking a look at a rental property. We've got a, quite a few things wrong with the uh, outdoor unit and some things wrong with the indoor unit going on with the ductwork. So what we're looking at is new furnace, new coil, and then getting this entire piece out. I think it'll be actually easier. So we'll go 10 by 21 by 23 and with the end cap. And then, and if we may want to add in like a little flux connector if we want there, just to make that dimension up because we got a gas pipe that's right on the back or on the side of this um, and then come straight up catch cut into the bottom of our thing with the supply plenum there is a junction box behind here but it's not attached we're not attached there and then this can go too so no big deal get all that out of here and then on the return um, looking at taking this up from here across um, and then back and we'll probably just put a cap on that and then cut in a transition we got to get out to uh 26 inches this is only 21 deep so we're 20 wide by 21 deep so we'll start off that way and then get out to 26 um and then bring our drop down um probably hug this side uh so we get our five inch filter and we got enough room in this area in case you guys do a canvas connector here that you can get your supply into the bottom of that um, and then redo gas piping. I think we can just get some three quarter inch track piping or even maybe extend from that coupling uh, once this is out. Get that over. New condensate drain running over, hitting floor drain. New flue piping coming up, hitting the T. Um, we can also bring a little bit of three inch, just replace that for them. Get that all taped up. I don't know if that's actually anything wrong with that or not. Yeah, I might look into replacing that too. I'll let you know on the checklist. And then um, line sets is gonna get a cut and flush and we'll look at that. Uh, and then I'll find the circuit panel. We got a walkout and we can park right back over here too. So it's real easy, come and go through here. 